Miss Murray, Maryland's housekeeper, a woman who spent a lot of time right here in Maryland's kitchen, tell the official version of what happened. And as we will see, it is loaded with contradictions. Contradictions which, when sorted out, make for a very sinister tale. Unavoidable evidence says there was a call for an ambulance that night. The late Walt Schaefer owned the Schaefer Ambulance Company in Los Angeles. We took Marilyn Monroe in on, on an overdose. And, of course, she succumbed at the hospital. And now this late report from one of the first-hand witnesses. In a phone call from Ireland, American author John Sherlock related a story told him by Maryland psychiatrist Dr. Ralph Greenson. She died in the ambulance going to St. John's or St. Joseph's or St. John's, whatever, in Santa Monica. And they turned around and took her back. If an ambulance was called that night, who called it? And who, if she died outside of the house, put her back in the bed? These sinister questions emerged after Marilyn was taken to the L.A. County Coroner's Office for autopsy. And there will be more ominous questions about Marilyn's final hours. 4 p.m., hysterical to see Bobby. About 10.15, mob killers made their move. Midnight, the ambulance returns to the house with Marilyn's body. Midnight to 3 a.m., the cover-up. 6.04, White House log. Peter Lawford made a call to the president.